Hey guys, welcome back to the show. So today we're going to talk about these cheap Crosley record players. You can pick them up pretty much anywhere. I've seen them anywhere from Hobby Lobby to Walmart to Amazon. They roughly run about $50. I was looking for something to display my records on top of this amazing album stand I picked up at a local thrift shop. I love it. I have a pretty good sized record collection and I love displaying it. But I didn't have a record player. So I thought, you know, this is a pretty good alternative to a great big stereo system. So I got it set up. It sounds decent. It doesn't sound the best quality. It's not the worst. But most of my albums are oddities. I really like albums that you can't just pick up and that you're not going to hear on Spotify or YouTube Music or any of those platforms. So most of my albums are very unique. Let's say it that way. Uh, so in the process of that, I start playing albums on here. And sometimes it sounds a little bit off and... I thought, okay, so it's just a cheap player, you know, it's not the highest quality, so I was going to upgrade. Uh, I was going to buy probably about a $200 record player or stereo system that had a record player incorporated into it. So in process of that, I did something that y'all do. I went to YouTube and started searching. So I found out that you can actually upgrade these. So for less than $20, I upgraded this cheap little case record player. And it sounds a whole lot better. I wouldn't say it's a $200 difference. But I will say it doubled the quality. Uh, so one of the things I had a problem with is on this record player. Uh, like I said, on the back side you can actually see where their albums have been rubbing across the back of it. So this case, I have a property against the wall. One of the flaws with this product is that it will not fold all the way down. Which means that regardless of what you do, if your album isn't perfectly flat, it will rub across it. One of my absolute favorite albums of all times is this random Partridge Family uh, album. I wanted to say CD. Album. Uh, there's a lot of history on that album. But anyways, so at some point it got warped. As you can see, it is very badly warped. Uh, I have searched high and low to try to replace this album. It's very, very, very sentimental to me. I won't go into that. It'll tear eyes. But anyways, I have really tried to play it on here. And with just try to play it on here, there's absolutely no way this album will even remotely play. It is too warped, too far gone. But I have found out with the two items I bought, it does make a big difference. So the very first thing I bought was this little rubber mat. Now I always thought these little mats were to protect the back side of the album, protect it from getting scratched from the base of the record player. But, you know, that is true. But one of the things it does is it actually raises it. So when I put this on here, as you can see, as the album has a great flux to it, it doesn't tap out. It doesn't hit the back of the record player. So it does play. It looks really, really bad, but it does play. So the other problem is the quality level. Now the speakers you can't do a whole lot about. On the back side there are some RC jacks and I think a headphone jack. I will take a picture of that after in post production and I'll try to splice that in as well. Uh, All right, so as promised here is your RC jacks and a headphone jack. So if you have other speakers you can use them as well. Well. Uh, but you're kind of stuck with the quality level of these speakers. But something I did do is I purchased replacement needles. Now the needle that comes on the record player when you purchase it is a ceramic needle. This is a diamond tip needle. Now I got four of these needles. I doubt if I'll ever need all four of them. But I got all four of these needles for $8. The rubber mat was $8 as well. Both of which I got off Amazon. Uh, if you want, I'll try to put a link in the description so you can find them as well. Uh, it seemed pretty red, uh, readily available. They weren't hard to find. When I put both of those on there, it made such a huge difference. It's not a $200 record player. It will never be a $200 record player. But it's like a $150 record player. I absolutely love my record collection. And I love being able to listen to it. So... I hope this helps some of you out there who may be struggling with quality level on uh, these Crosley record players. I know there's like several different versions of these, but pretty much they're all the same across the board. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I hope it helped you out. Uh, if nothing else, I hope you got a little bear quality from it. Uh, if you haven't done so already, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon below. You'll get more videos like this, maybe even better. 
Alright guys, till next time.